I'm going to play something from Twitter that the Florida Panther fan base was passing around this morning when I woke up. I haven't listened to the whole thing. I haven't listened to any of it, actually. Um, I'm only, I've only seen the quote from Maurice. So I'm going to listen to this together, and then we shall discuss and then I shall share my theory about Paul Maurice and his teams. But let's see what Maurice has to say here. Yeah, their, their power play's been hot for a while. They've got some extremely good shooters. And that's just it. The, I don't think Sergey, the first and third power play goal may not look as difficult as to stop, but those bucks are off those sticks very quick. Hard to get over on them. And uh, it's that, that's a nearly perfect shot on the second one. So hers was good. No, I, I think, I mean, we put one in the stands. That's a call. Yeah, the stick, it, it wasn't a penalty game. Like, they took penalties. We took penalties. It wasn't uh, lopsided. Or, we just got to kill them. Well, it wasn't lopsided. You're right. We were 0 for 4, and they were 3 for 4. <sighs> yeah. He's been so good all year, played in every game, and uh, confidence is growing so strongly with him. He just keeps getting better, and he's got a great shot. We're just starting to see it. I think you're going to see a lot more of it. Uh, look at the, the, the road ahead of that matchup in Toronto. What's going to take for these guys? Like you said before, a couple of games were just to, to get off the mat and you know, get back to it. They're, I'm not going to say a big chunk that. I was proud of the way they played tonight, play their asses off. And uh, more importantly, they seem to find another level as a team in, in terms of being engaged in the game. I thought they played their asses off tonight. Huh? I, I got no fault for them. Like to finish on a whole bunch of those that we didn't, and then right. maybe execute a little better with the puck. But they'll say, Well, we um, played two pretty poor games, right? I mean, we weren't very good in, against Toronto, we weren't very good against the Rangers, but we were a good hockey team tonight. We were a good hockey team tonight. Played their asses off last night. Absolutely. You saw that, right? I definitely saw them playing their asses off last night. Um, oh, boy. So here's my theory. Now, Maurice comes in and says, we're going to play playoff hockey. We're going to play it from the beginning. I'm going to teach these guys how to play playoff hockey. Now, whatever his version of playoff hockey is, definitely involves all of the guys, including and especially the forwards, becoming more physical, battling for the puck along the boards, et cetera, et cetera. Which in a bubble isn't the end of the world. And it sounds in theory, in theory, don't sound so bad. Hey, if we can figure out how to play playoff hockey during the regular season, by the time we get to the playoffs, we'll be hardened and battle tested and ready to go. Now, if you look at Coach Maurice's coaching record, it's just a theory that's yet to be proven. He's got one cup appearance in 20 some odd years. And the problem with his theory, and I think what we've seen partially this year, is this team peaked about games 50 through 70. Right around there. Okay. Now, What's the difference? What's happening here? 
if you go into a playoff series, just just, just imagine an imaginary playoff series, Panthers, Bruins. Okay. Game one's Panthers, Bruins. We're physical, they match our physicality. Game two is Panthers, Bruins. We're physical, they match our physicality. Game three, you get the point. So each team is coming into the next game having, give or take, expended an equal amount of energy or they've both at least been in a physical battle that both teams are beaten up. In the playoffs, that could be a functioning strategy. However, during the regular season, this is a different thing. You come in and you play the Bruins and you play physical and they meet your intensity. Then the second game of the year, you play the Flyers and you get physical and they meet your intensity. And the third game, now you're going to play the Leafs. Now, the Leafs, they haven't played anybody physical yet. They're, they're, they're playing their normal brand of hockey. They haven't been beaten up in game one. They haven't been beaten up in game two. Game three comes. We're beat up from the two physical games we just played. Toronto's not beat up at all. And they don't even have to match our physicality because, number one, we don't have any energy left to be physical. And, number two, their wheels are so much faster than ours because we just played two hard physical games. Rinse and repeat. Now, when you get to the playoffs, in a bubble, you would think physical versus physical is going to work. But the problem is the way that Maurice wants to run his teams, you're talking about a situation where he wants his teams playing that physical style the whole season. In theory, in theory, I can understand what his brain is telling him. But he's leaving out the human element. He's leaving out the clear conclusion to his theory has been proven now that you cannot take a group of men and have them play balls to the wall playoff hockey in entire 82 games and then have them rested and ready to go to make a playoff run and win a cup. You can't do both. If he was gonna, he would have. 